Hey guys, this is Shukesh Banik and you are watching Gadgets Portal. Today I will be unboxing this new Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 8.0 that is with the 8 inches display size and it is the 16 GB version. There is a 32 GB version of this tablet as well. This box is made of recyclable paper and printed with soy ink. There are some quick specifications here. I will talk about all of these things in the later parts of this review. Now the pricing of this tablet in the market is around 24,000 rupees that is around 410 USD which I will say excellent for the specifications of this tablet. Here it is a huge tablet and looks fairly decent much better than the 7 inches version of this tab 3. You can easily hold this tablet with one hand and typing with two hands will not be an issue on this tablet I hope. This device is also very very thin only 7.4 millimeter and because of the huge dimensions it is also looking much more thinner. The frame around the display is also quite narrow and much better than the Note 8.0 and this Galaxy Tab 3 7.0. That's why this tablet is not that much larger compared to the 7.0 version. There is a lot of differences in between these two and the thickness is the most noticeable difference in between these two if you hold both of these tablets. Here is a Galaxy Note 2 with 5.5 inches display size and here is a Galaxy S4 with 5 inches display size. Well, I'll give a hardware and software tour on this tablet in the later part of this review. Let's check what are the things you are getting with this tablet. Meanwhile, I also want to mention that this tablet has got SIM card support. There is another version without the SIM card support that is T310 with 22,000 rupees price tag. Here is the AC charging adapter of Samsung and there is also a data cable for charging as well as data syncing and these white cables get dirty very easily. There are also some booklets here. There is no headphone or headset you get with this tablet though it has sim card facility and there is a microphone hole here. So you have to basically put this tablet to your ear to make any call and that will look quite funny. But still I think there is some good thinking by Samsung here. You must already have a smartphone with a headset and you can use that headset with this tablet. In this way Samsung has cut down the price of this tablet. Let's get rid of these things here and let me now give you a quick overview of the exterior of this Galaxy Tab 3 8.0. Here is the 8 inches display with 1280 by 800 pixels resolution at 189 ppi and this PPI is decent for a huge display like this. Now at the bottom you are getting the hardware home key which is quite narrow and nicely raised from the base and there are two android capacitive keys as well. Well one thing you must have noticed that this tablet has got the same mesh design as the Galaxy S4. Here is the earpiece with a 1.3 megapixels front facing camera and both proximity and ambient light sensors. At the back there is a 5 megapixels camera with no LED flash and it is capable of up to 720p video recording. Well on the right of this tablet you are getting the micro sim card slot just behind this door and it is hot swappable. Here is the micro SD card slot which is expandable up to 64 GB. Now this tablet has got dual speakers and it is capable of Dolby surround sound enhancement. So the loudspeaker quality should be good and will help you watching movies. Here is the micro USB port and here is the microphone hole. On the right there is an IR blaster which works with the watch on app on this tablet and will help you using this tablet as a TV remote. The next thing you are getting here is this very narrow volume rocker along with this power key. There is also a secondary microphone for noise cancellation. Well now at the top you are getting the 3.5mm headset port and the metallic bezel around this tablet is similar to the one on this Galaxy S4. I hope that there will be a lot of similarities with the software of these two devices. 
this tablet is also running on the same android 4.2.2 i will talk about the detailed specifications of this tablet later on let's first turn on this tablet and show you the display and the user interface well the tablet is ultimately ready and looks like it has got the same interface as the galaxy s4 let's first change this wallpaper and show you the real capability of the display well buddies let's first talk about the quality of the display well it is a tft display with 189 ppi and if i don't look from a very shorter distance i cannot see any pixel and small text are also nicely readable the color reproduction of this display is extremely good it is very natural and feeling very soothing to the eyes watching movies or browsing the internet on this huge display will be very enjoyable the viewing angles are also good though there is a slight decrease in the color of this display now you can use this tablet in landscape mode even on this home screen and this will give you a better handling experience of this tablet with two hands now let me give you a quick overview of this user interface and let me first show you the notification panel there is a bunch of sliding toggle switches here and there are some smart features like this smart stay which does not allow the display to turn off as long as you are looking at it and this reading mode will adjust the white balance the contrast level of the display while reading ebooks so that your eyes don't get tired of the display all of these things make this tablet a very good device for ebook reading you can also swipe with two fingers to get all the toggle switches at once you can swipe anywhere to close this notification window so this touchwiz user interface is quite intuitive yet brilliant there is a video calling option on this dialer and well let's check whether there is any one hand operation option on this dialer and there is nothing like that maybe because this tablet is too large for one hand let's check the writing experience on this tablet and typing with two hands will not be an issue on this tablet i hope you can easily reach all the parts of this keyboard which is not possible on a 10 inches display now if you pinch there is a floating keyboard and a split keyboard option which is extremely handy feels great to type on once you get used to this type of keyboards you can also get this keyboard in landscape mode without this split keyboard there is no way you can write on this tablet in landscape mode holding with two hands now guys let me show you what are the preloaded applications into this tab 38.0 and there are a lot of custom applications from samsung this group play will enable you to play and share music with other devices using wi-fi direct and let me show you the music experience from the loudspeakers it has dolby surround sound enhancement and well the loudspeakers are quite loud and the sound coming from it is also very clear well there are a lot more applications here you are getting polaris office s voice voice assistance from samsung and also this s translator which is an extremely useful application you can translate your sms or any text on the browser or any text captured by the camera there is also a smart remote option which will enable this tablet to work as a TV remote and you can personalize your experience of watching TV. Well, let me show you some important settings on this tablet and as I mentioned before, this is running on Android 4.2.2 that is the latest version of Jelly Bean as you know. There are a bunch of voice control options on this tablet that is you can control your music, camera, alarm and incoming calls using voice. There are two motion controlled options as well. The first option will enable you to take screenshots just by swiping your hand over the display. The second option will enable you to pause or play any song or any video just by putting your hand on the display. These features are quite cool and 
borrowed from Galaxy S4 and Galaxy Note 2. Here is the lock screen option and you can set face and voice unlock. You can enable multiple widgets on the lock screen and change the settings from here. You can turn on this applications shortcut on the lock screen and you can also set voice commands on the lock screen as well. Let me show you the lock screen. There is obviously no air view. There is a nice lens flare effect and you can also change this and set ripple effect. You can add widgets on this lock screen and here are the widgets available. With this widget you can access music from your lock screen. There is a very good power saving option which lowers the CPU clock speed and saves battery though you should turn it off while gaming. This driving mode is another very nice option. You can even use this feature when you are indoor and you can pause here and check this out. There is also a blocking mode and you can customize this. This tablet does not feature NFC. You are getting Bluetooth 4.0 and GPS with a GPS. There is a screen mirroring option. There is no radio on this tablet also. Now this tablet features a 1.5 GHz dual-core Cortex-A9 processor and Exynos 4212 chipset. The internal storage on this tablet is 16 GB though 11.29 GB is user available before installing any application. The RAM on this tablet is very nice 1.5 GB. Before installing any application, you are getting 817 MB free for the user which is enough for playing hardcore games. This is basically better than Galaxy S4 because the interface is not eating up that much RAM. So overall this tablet is a very feature rich and also a very powerful device. The GPU is the premium Mali 400 MP just like the one you got on the Galaxy Note 2. I will run some benchmarks on this tablet and upload another video very soon. So subscribe and keep in touch with this channel. My initial impression of this tablet is amazing. I do recommend this tablet to all of you guys because the 7 inches version has got the old Android version and the old TouchWiz interface. The 10 inches version is too large. You can handle this tablet with one hand and use another hand to access the display. The interface is similar to the one on the Galaxy S4 which is very user friendly. For hardcore gaming you can get Nexus 7 but for everyday normal uses and also for ebook reading and for a smarter experience you should get a Galaxy Tab 3 8.0. Just wait for the other review where I'll talk about the overall performance of this tablet. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.